Uh, I say this, and I generally feel this with every guest, that we are so excited to have them, but we are extra excited to have Mr. Matt Smith here. You know him as the man who brought back bow ties and made fences cool. I see some fences out there. You know him, of course, as Prince David Targaryen. You certainly know him as Milo from Morbius, which I and a million other things. But here he is, Mr. Vincent! Hi, hi, hello guys. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Dude, I, I mean, truly, like, it really means so much that you are here with us. Thanks for being yeah, here. Finally, yeah, finally, after all that time. Yeah, I'm so pleased to, to sort of get a bit of, ah, oh, that was that, oh, my heart was, 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 oh, my heart was,
well, they've cast every other British actor, I guess. It's my duty to be in Game of Thrones now. Yeah. Um, was it at all, did it like weigh on you at all, like, okay, we're about to step back into another franchise and commit myself to this, you know, extended series? Yeah, I think that always does. I mean, every actor, like, the way to make an actor unhappy is to give him a job. <laughs> you want a job, you're desperate for a job, you want to work, then you get a job again. Oh my god, I've got to do it. And again, there are a lot of people like don't ruin David Targaryen. I was like, I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, you just try and do your best and make it feel original and, yeah. you know, what it is to you. Yeah. And, and if people like it, look that great, and if they don't, what can you do? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask one more question, but I want to get uh, y'all going and lining up. There's microphones here and here, so if you want to ask Matt a question, go ahead and uh, line up. Four yeah. <laughs> 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 guys, no one push each other down. I saw somebody just stab someone with a solid hate... screwdriver to get there. Either we bought them or offended them. There's a mass walkout. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you said something that I think is actually an interesting segue into what I was going to ask. And, and that, you know, everything can find a fandom. And I'm sure coming to these cons, you get to connect with people in a way that, like, oh, that thing that I thought people didn't like, yeah. people love it. Yeah. Um, does it occur to you now, with, let's say, something like Marvel, where, where it feels like every actor is going to get their chance? Um, what is it about a certain role that comes along that you said, okay, now I'm going to, like, make my entrance into Marvel, or, like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll hold out and see if another Marvel role comes around. Yeah, well, I was like, all jobs, really. I mean, the Morbius Marvel thing was purely and simply because I love vampires. Yeah. And I love vampire movies, and I've always wanted to play a vampire. Yeah. I remember I had so much fun doing, there's an episode of Doctor Who called The Vampires in Venice. <laughs> you know, I was, at the time, I was like, oh, just vampires are just cool, right? <laughs> Would you want to be a vampire? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm that guy. I'm, I'm like the what? What are they called? They're called the uh, familiars in what we do in the shadows. You know, yeah. like wait, <laughs> twenty years to be turned by Latino into a vampire. Well, now we really put something out there is that I want to see you in what we do in the shadows. Love Matt Berry. It's huge, Matt Berry. Well, now that's out there in the universe, so we'll yeah. just start the internet fan campaign to make that happen. Um, uh, all right, let's go ahead and kick it off. Uh, we'll start over here on the left. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Michael from Dallas. Uh, Matt, thank you. My wife has been, I'm not saying she's been stalking your arrival. She's been <laughs> here, but she texts me every five minutes. She's on the ground. Yeah. That's what you were saying earlier. Yeah. Thank you so much. I can't imagine how jet lagged you were. No, I'm fine, actually. Yeah. Fantastic. Hey, um, so I'm wondering, because None of us probably are actors, and it's hard for us to imagine these very roles that you're playing, you know, from Doctor Who uh, to, to The Crown, to uh, Milo and Moby, or Morbius, obviously your most recent role, which said the 14 year old daughter over here can't watch yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> don't watch that yet. Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely don't watch that <laughs> Thanks, man. So, how do you inhabit so many different roles, and is there one that's most like you? God, I don't know if I'm as, you know, I think, um, how? Well, I think it's one of the gifts of being an actor. I mean, I love what I do, it's a great job. And um, I, how do you know, how do you have so many different roles? It, it, it's a very good question. I wish I had an answer for you, really. Um, but it's, you know, I think it's hard work. It's tough, it's a tough job. But, um, um, and which one am I like? No, they're all cooler than me, so. <laughs> I'm probably closest, I'd say, or well, he's, you know, the coolest of the lot, but I think the Doctor's the sort of nearest version of that. Because all the others are real bastards, aren't they? <laughs> Which shows the Doctor, really, that's what's amazing about the Doctor is, you know, he's the one, he's the most brutal of the lot, really. He's got the most blood on his hands, and he makes pain look like a puppy. <laughs> I'm really glad you didn't say your character from last night in Soho. That would have been a challenge. Yeah. Although, great night in Soho. Dude, what a redeeming feature in it. What a killer film, and you're so great in it. Um, all right, let's take it over here. Thanks, man. But I want to ask, what was your funniest part of Doctor Who? 
Oh, that's a very good question. I used to like Wiley and Karen. I used to hide it in a shower in the trailer. Fully dressed. Um, and she'd walk in and I'd go, because Karen's kind of sort of long and gangly, and I'd go, I'd come, I mean, you know, in my outfit as the doctor, or whatever, and just jump, like me and Arthur did. Um, but I, what, what I loved about the doctor was, I loved, I thought, I had that sort of initial idea with the doctor that I thought it would be quite cool to make him clumsy and like falling around and, and physically quite sort of mad. And I think that was probably the bit I thought was fine. Good question. Hello, my name is Josh Mendez, and I like to say first that Matt Smith, thank you so much for coming. You made all of our days today, and I'm just pretty excited to get your uh, photo off in the next uh, two hours. Or anything. See you then. See you then. Okay, so my main question for you, sir, and I'm very curious to ask you. Um, during the production of uh, House of the Dragons, and my favorite one of all of season one for starters is um, episode three. Tell me with your own words. Uh, during production, what are your thoughts or um, moments when you're um, filming the scene where you had to wear your armor suit and you're doing a little battle scene with uh, these like creatures or whatever uh, by, towards the end of the uh, episodes of uh, season one, the third one? Um, what are my thoughts when I'm doing it? Well, I think you know, there's, there's sort of several million things going on when you're an actor because part of you thinking on behalf of the character and thinking, right, I'm so angry, I want to prove to my brother. I'm just going to go, I don't care if I die, I'm going to, it's like a, it's like a kamikaze pilot, you know, boom, and then that's what's cool about him, he doesn't care. Um, and then as an actor, you're thinking, oh, my lunch, the arm is really heavy, I'm tired. <laughs> and then these, uh, all these stunt men running at me, they're really strong, and they keep hitting me, and I'm like, I'm just, you know, can I have Diet Coke? So it's sort of, it's like, and then it's lunch, and I'm like, God, right? And then, it's a bit of a, Thank you. Your question did remind me that I should have said something up top. There will be spoilers for House of the Dragon. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's your fault. If you've not already seen it, don't bother. <laughs> Most of them. Yeah. Just be very good if you know. There's a fight scene in episode three. Uh, you know, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> just tell us the whole You know, just tell us the whole series. Yeah, it's good, I, mean, I mean, there is a book out there as well. You can read that. It's that's over. true. That's true. Alright, we'll go over here. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Sarnik Clark. I'm 16 years old. This is actually my sweet 16 present. Oh. Today. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Um, I've waited seven years, actually eight, to ask you this question. But if you could change anything in the entire history of time itself, what would you change in history? Whoa. You know what? You got seven years of playing that question? Good job. <laughs> I change you asking that question. <laughs> because it's a really hard question to answer. What would I change? I'd probably I'd probably I'd probably keep the dinosaurs. <laughs> cool, wouldn't it? If you just like you go, oh yeah, come meet my pet T-Rex, oh Because I think now we'd be on top of them somehow, you know. It's so funny you said it because there literally is a giant can you stand up? How can you see that? There's not any one point. There's just literally a giant inflatable T-Rex in the back of the room. So, you know what? Ask and you shall receive. Here's a dinosaur for you guys. Good question, though. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Hi, we'll go over here. Hi, Matt. Um, Hi. Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Very good. Um, so we were over here. Um, so I just wanted to ask you about um, the question with House of the Dragon. So I know that you, Patty, and Fabian have all been kind of constant throughout the series, but I just wanted to know, like, what um, was your process or your thoughts going into meeting all of the different actresses that play Rhaenyra and... Um, Alison. Yeah, Alison, sorry. I have a great part. No, no, no. <laughs> So I just um, wanted to know, like, what was, um, how were you able to build, like, those relationships, just because all of those actresses are very different. Yeah, they are. I mean, I, look, I know it's been a point of contention for some people, but for me, it was just, I think that's, you know, they're so brilliant. I was so lucky, um, you know, with, with, with the people, with, with Mills and with Emma, um, because they're both 
Rome have just such brilliant actresses. And also I felt as a character of Damon, it, would, it does a lot of work for you somehow, because their energies are so different, and the time that has passed between all those women, somehow having different habits, or just even kind of physically different, shook you into a different energy as an actor. So I, I loved it, and I have, I have great faith uh, in the transition and that it will work, actually. I know that Eleanor will, will just go on to be a real, real fan's favourite, and I know that Millie uh, has, has already sort of cemented that place and done that. So, yeah, I'm just proud of them both. And, and what, that's what's exciting about the show, actually, is I think you're going to see a lot of these young talents emerge, and then you'll be bored of old bosses like me. <laughs> Um, you know. Never. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I think it's, I feel very really blessed to have worked with both of them. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I think it's important to try and do a bit of everything, a bit of stage, a bit of TV, a bit of film, if you can, if that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, to pick a favourite is, is tricky. I love them all equally more than each other. Man. I love the relationship with his brother, 
And I heard that Paddy was doing it, and I thought it was like nice Paddy. Um, I've always looked up to him and Reese Dickens, and you know, I thought it was an opportunity to sort of do something new and get a blonde wig, which I think they want it turns out. Because I'm now in Hong, but I'm not very good at sitting still, I find it hard. I'm always used to eat. part of me is always moving, really. So, yeah, you know, I just thought it was just a really, really wonderful part. Were there any bloopers? I mean, Reese Evans is one of the funniest men on the planet. And you only need to spend, I think he's so good at it, by the way. Um, you only need to spend half an hour in his company. And we all just sort of contemplate about Reese and let him tell the stories and make us laugh. He's the blooper. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll go over here. Hi. And you know, we've heard your complaints about the wig. <laughs> yeah. And I totally, yeah, totally get it. Yeah. Um, uh, but, I it. <laughs> yeah. but I wondered if there was a particular costume piece that you were really excited to wear. Maybe Ooh. Damon's crime committing cape or something? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's why I took home with me, yeah. <laughs> no, I quite like, um, it's like a sort of, um, it's like a black leather tunic, which I quite like, which is pretty cool. Um, and I was keen for him to have, like, because he's always got Dark Sister with him, which is a sword, for those of you that don't watch the show. And it's, I thought it would look cool with, like, this big leather belt. It's quite, you know, I don't want him to have the it. Um, yeah, I think Yanni, the, the sort of costume designer who did it, she did the Harry Potter's as well, has done a really beautiful job. I think the tailoring is great, and I think the world that it feels really, really clear. So we were lucky. She's, she's a fabulous, fabulous designer. Are you, are you somebody that the costume really, like, you know, you were, your well, like, doctor costume was, was so kind of iconic, and you see it so much, and it felt like, you may have even had some input on it because it was very much your style and more well. Are you somebody that when you put the costume on, that's like the final piece for the character? Yeah, I mean, that's what's nice about a show like this is you've got a wig and a costume. Yeah. It does feel like it does a lot. A bit like you guys, I bet you feel like that when you come to Comic Cons and stuff and when you cosplay, you dress up. It gives you, a, it's an interesting feeling, isn't it? It transforms you somehow. Do you find that? Yeah. <laughs> And it's the same when you're an actor, and it's, that's why it's such a great job, because you yeah. get to do that but every day. Yeah, absolutely. Which is why I should have known that thing with them. Oh, that's a big shot. That's a big shot. Okay, 
Oh, I'll tell him here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Listen to my sister. <laughs> it's all about taste at the end of the day. Uh, no, I think. <laughs> no, I think. Which one is it? Is it David? Is it Chris? Which one is it? Um, oh, no, I think, look, read as many plays as you can, watch as many films as you can. I think in this day and age, you can create things really easily. You can get an iPad. Write a script with your friends, but it's about paying attention to, you know, creatively the history of what's been before us, what's going on now, and just working really, really, really hard. And um, yeah, being brave, never giving up, all that stuff. Um, and listen when you're on a stage, you know. I don't know, there's so much. That's why it's good then, because I'm still trying to work it out, is the truth. But your sister sounds great. <laughs> Yeah, and my favorite thing, actually. I had a favorite ask if you could say hi to a couple of my friends for me. Yeah. 
Yeah, why not? Get them on the phone. <laughs> Well, yeah, hello Jack, hello Brit, hello Shannon, thank you for the bow tie. <laughs> um, I remember touching it and thinking, I bet Shannon made this. <laughs> so it's nice to finally read this. Um, you know, you're not here, but uh, don't worry. And uh, yeah, have a great day. <laughs> Hello, that's Ben. Thank you. That's are cool. Yeah. <laughs> Amen to that. In uh, your first appearance with the young uh, cave mom, how, how did they uh, create the scene of the same thing on the nickel food? And how bad was fish fingers in the rest of the world? I had to be a lawyer as well. Um, <laughs> I think I'm acting really seriously. I was like, no, no, I'll have real fish fingers. <laughs> and then they also made these little coconut cakes as well. I did do the real fish fingers. It's not actually that bad. Um, well, hey, I think it's such a brilliant way to meet a companion. One of the glorious to meet them when they're young. It's so clever. Um, and then, yeah, we just got in the kitchen and it was fun. I just got to like be, that's what's cool about being a doctor. You get to be a big kid. I was just like, no, don't have that. No, don't have that. And some poor guy's sitting in the bowl trying to catch it. <laughs> and then I had to eat my 12 fish fingers and loads of custard. It was tough. Because yeah. it goes again and again and again. And then there was a couple of like coconut cakes in there as well, I think. But don't tell me. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't know why when you're talking about that, I just had flashes of great. British Bake Off, which I think we probably, the majority of us, owe our lives to getting us through the pandemic. Um, what do you, like, what, what do you watch? What do you, when to just like turn off, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of like heavy stuff in oh, House of yeah. Dragon. What do you, what's like your kind of comfort going um, on your stuff? Well, there's a, a British sitcom called I'm a Pop, I watched that a lot, yeah. like on repeat, basically. Yeah. <laughs> And the main over yesterday, I watched like four episodes of Severance, which I thought was really oh, good. Wow. Yeah, Ben Stiller just being yeah, it's it's really fresh. Yeah, so Adam good. Scott's great, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, I thought that was really great, yeah. And then, oh, I'll put him everything, really. Yeah. Loads of vampire films. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite? What's my favorite vampire movie? What's your favorite vampire movie? Oh, God. Wait, hold on, let me ask you again. What's your favorite vampire movie and why is it The Lost Boys? <laughs> Boys, interview with a vampire. Um, I, like, I, like, um, I like Dracula with Gary Oldman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the movie series is great. Yeah, yeah. Super yeah. Rough, yeah. yeah super rough. Um, Forty Days of Night. Yeah. 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 Josh Hartnett. It's actually a good film. Though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, there's a uh, what's the name James Woods? Oh, Vampires. John Carpenter. Yeah, yeah. Vampires. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I can't 
I mean, the great thing about Valerian is I can just make something up and go, you go, that's not Valerian, I go, yeah, it is. <laughs> You, you, you like come off set and people go, did that, did that right? I go, yeah, yeah, that's kind of right, it was good. <laughs> um, but it sort of goes in and goes out. Do me anyway. You say something. Give her a ball There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we've got time for a couple of moments, so we're up here and here. And, uh, you know, hi. Hi. My name is Cece. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, big number. Uh, so, 60, I'm about to turn 60. He's an actual vampire. 
Yeah. Um, wonderful skin but, rating. But we, we're just so delighted that you were you were here with us, and uh, we wanted to take you out by saying happy birthday to you. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. 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 So, and no one, and the two, and